Hey everybody, so imagine this if you would. You're walking through the garden, it's gorgeous, it's a lovely night, you know, a little bit warm with a nice soft breeze. You're admiring your beautiful tomato plants, and then you stop. Well, wait, what's that on the ledge? Ew, is that poop? Yeah, check this out. <laughs> Ew, right? What in the world makes big, ginormous, nasty looking poop like that? And on your tomato plant that's finally, the fruit is fruiting and, and it's beautiful and you want to eat it and no, not anymore, you don't. Let's show you what else evidence-wise we have uh, in the garden tonight. First evidence is a bare naked tomato stem. Mmm, I do believe we're supposed to have some leaves on there. Nope, nope, nothing. Hmm. Oh, it just breaks your heart, all that work that you did for this tomato plant. All right, here's your culprit. There he is. That big fat guy is going to town on one of your hard-earned tomatoes. Yours. Mine, mine, it's supposed to be mine. Yeah, this is a tomato hornworm. Um, he does not have his favorite coat on him that I would have liked to have seen. So by favorite coat on a tomato hornworm, hey, are you willing to pick this up and show how big it is? <laughs> I'm getting the ew eye from Jonathan. But my favorite coat that I love to see on a hornworm. Um, oh, squishy. Oh. <laughs> Um, go ahead and pluck that baby off. Um, you'll find them sometimes with, with what looks like grains of rice on their back. They stick up off the back of the... Or, you don't have it yet? Come on! And what actually happened is that a parasitic wasp got to it, laid eggs all over it. We're talking like 40, 50 eggs that all look like a grain of rice. And stop whining. Of course, I'm not doing it, but uh, <laughs> there's that look. <laughs> Okay, you really have to no, come over here and show it. But the um, parasitic wasp good. eggs um, hatch and then they... Oh, he just pooped. Uh, they, oh, it's, it's tomato. You can see the seeds. I'm trying to explain what happens. Because when, when I tried to take them off and like... <clears throat> Goodness, he's got a good grip. Grains of rice. Oh, again. Hatch. We really have too much fun in the garden, really. Um, and oh, the babies, big Jonathan, <laughs> and then the babies hatch and uh, they like eat off the worm until they're big enough to fly off. I'm, I mean, I assume until they're ready to fly off. But the hornworm is then a host for more parasitic wasps, which is great. Seriously, this thing is huge. Uh, can you hold out your hand? I'm not putting I, it in I don't want to put it in my hand. It's pooping. It's huge. So here, here's the head. This is a hornworm. That's the belly side of it. And you can see on the end of it why it's called a horn. <laughs> it had completely harmless, you know, too. We're totally 40 year old adults and we're freaking out over a big fat worm. But it's huge. It, it, it's like the size of your pinky finger. Okay. Or my index Look finger. Look at this. It's ginormous. Can you hear the noise it's but, making? No, I just hear the train. Like but you can stuff. hear this or see this horn at the end of it, which is where it's, it's, it's got, tail essentially got its name from. So what do you do with this beast? Um, since this guy does not have the eggs from the parasitic wasp on its back, um, and I don't want him in my garden anymore, I don't have chickens. Chickens would really, really love this. They would go crazy over it. Send them to our friend. And no, 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 no. She's too far away. Um, really and truly, what we're going to do with it, we're just going to dispose of them. Um, if you are truly organic and you don't go that method, hey, that's totally cool. This um, tomato hornworm actually turns into a beautiful sphinx moth. Big, beautiful <sighs> moth tomatoes. Moth tomatoes. You have to make your own decision. There's the information. I hope that helps you. Um, in the event that you find a stripped branch for your tomatoes and you can't find the culprit, 
come out in the evening time frame with a black light and these guys apparently also glow in the dark so if you have young kids it could be really fun it's kind of like a treasure hunt um, but the prize is kind of gross at the end of it so um, yeah keep an eye on your tomatoes and if you start seeing a lot of poop down at the base of your tomato plant or if you see stripped uh, branches it's this guy it is the tomato tomato hornworm and he is creating you he is creating havoc in your garden <laughs> and there's your fun fact for the evening <laughs> yuck it's just disgusting they're very limber though